Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to work out some multiplication and I'm going to be using um, the grid method. I'm going to work out three different calculations. The first calculation I'm going to be working out a two digit number by a single digit number. So I'm going to multiply together 23 by 7. Right, so we set out the grid. It doesn't matter which way around you put the numbers, but I always tend to put the first number on the left hand side. So with this number 23 we need to break it down into tens and units. So the 2 is representing your tens, that's actually representing 20. So I'm going to write down 20 here, and then my 3 from my units I'm going to write underneath here. And then my other number, 7, I'm going to write that up here. Right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 20 by 7. So the easiest way to do that is to break down this number 20 and multiply 2 by 7, which is 14, and then just add on a 0, which will give you 140. Then I'm going to multiply 3 by 7, which is then going to give me 21. Right, we then need to just add these numbers up together. Now, if you put them... Um, if you set them out properly in your table, you can add them up directly from your table. If not, you can add them at the side or underneath. I'm going to write them um, at the side here. You need to really, really be careful when you're adding them together that you, are, you have them positioned correctly. A lot of mistakes are caused on the adding part. So I've got my 140. And then there's my 21, so you're making sure that you're lining up your units and your tens. And then add these together. So 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 plus 4 is 6, and there's my 1. So your final answer is 161. Okay, on my second example, I'm going to multiply a two-digit number by a two-digit number. So for this example, I'm going to multiply 42 by 31. Again, we just set out the grid. So then again, my 42, I'm going to break that down into tens and units. So I'm going to have four tens, which is 40, and then two units. And then 31, I'm going to break that down into tens again. So that's three tens, which is 30, and then one unit. Right, we've then got to multiply together 40 by 30. So the easiest thing to do is to multiply the numbers which aren't zeros, which is the 4 by the 3. So 4 times 3 will give you 12. And then there's two zeros. So we add in two zeros after that. So the amount of zeros that are in the question here will match the amount of zeros here in your answer. Then I'm going to multiply 2 by 30. So 2 times 3, which will give me 6, and then add on 1 zero. And then for my other number, I'm going to multiply 40 by 1. That's easy, 40. And then I'm going to multiply 2 by 1, which is going to give me 2. Right, I'm then going to take these four numbers and add them together at the side. You can add the numbers together in any order, but I always... Um, take the, the, the largest one first and then work down. So I'm going to set out 1,200 and then 60 and then 40 and then 2. So all of your numbers need to be lined up on their units first here, then your tens, hundreds, one thousands. I'm going to add those together. That's going to give me 2. 6 plus 4 is going to give me 10 carry the 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then the final one there, which gives you a final answer of 1,302. Right, my final example is a three-digit number by a two-digit number. Now, this is as far as you need to go for GCSE. They won't ask you for numbers any bigger than this, really, because it will just take up too much exam time. So I'm going to multiply together 247 by 68. Now use lots and lots of space 
So I'm going to set out my grid again. This time breaking my number 247 into hundreds. So I've got 200, then tens, it's 40, and then 7. And then I'm going to multiply that by 68, again breaking it into your tens, 60, and then your 8 units. I'm just going to put a line down here. When you've got lots of numbers, it might be a good idea to put some grid lines in your grid. And I'm going to use another colour here. So, I'm going to multiply now my 2 by my 6. So 2 times 6 is going to give me 12. And then I've got three zeros, one, two, three. So I'm going to write down three here, one, two, three. Then I'm going to multiply four by six, which is 24. And then I've got two zeros, one, two. And then I'm going to multiply seven by 60. So seven times six is 42. And then I've just got one zero, so I add that on the end there. Right, then I'm going to multiply all these three numbers by eight. So firstly, 200 times eight. So 2 times 8 is going to give me 16. And then I've got two zeros. I'm going to write two zeros here. And then 4 times 8 is going to give me 32. With just one zero on the end. And then 7 times 8 is going to give me 56. Right, we've got a lot of numbers here to add up. Depending how you've set them in the table, you can add them up whilst they're in the table. So you could add the numbers up here and you could add the numbers up here however I always choose to write them out at the side as you can see I haven't lined them up as I've, as I've been doing it but what I am going to do is I'm going to add these three together first and then these three separately and then add their answers up at the end if you try and add too many numbers up at once it leaves too much room for mistake so it's better just adding a few numbers up at one time so I'm going to take my biggest number first so that's going to be 12,000. Then 2,400. And then 420. So remember, you're checking your units. Are they in line? Your 10's in line. Your 100's in line. Add that up. So that will give me 0. 2. 4 plus 4 is 8. 2 plus, plus 2 is 4. And then I've got a 1 there. Then I'm going to take my other numbers, my other three numbers, I'm going to add these up underneath. So I've got 1,600, 320, and then 56. My units are lined up, my tens are lined up, my, my hundreds are lined up. That's going to give me 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. 6 plus 3 is 9. And then my 1. Then I need to add together my 14,820 and my 1,976. Now, when you're doing this, you'll be able to fit it all in one page. But as you can see, I'm using a board pen, which is really has a really thick nib. So I'm going to add these two numbers, this one here and this one here, on a separate bit of paper to make it really clear so you can see that. So, 14,820 and 1,976, again you can see everything's lined up, 6, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17, carry that one over, 4, add 1, add another one is 6, and then your final one on the end, so that will be giving you a final answer of 16,796. If you do an exam paper, you've always got to make it really clear when you've got so many workings out that what your final answer is.